Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. A meeting to hear from those tasked with upholding the law. If we don't feel safe in our homes or in our businesses, the quality of our lives is not there. So we are very committed to provide you with the resources to make that happen. Governor Lou Leon Guerrero and LT Josh Tenorio heard about the shortfalls at the Guam Police Department. I hear that um, criminals are bolder now because of the lack of personnel. And uh, just to increase the personnel, I think, would deter uh, a lot of those crimes. But lawbreakers beware. The administration says funding is being shifted to put more officers out on the street. Just in our week and a half with working with our budget people, uh, we are already finding the monies. How are we going to make that happen? Well, you know, we're looking at uh, all of the recent vacancies throughout the government through attrition. Uh, throughout the agencies, making management decisions about uh, maybe putting back decisions to fill uh, uh, vacancies in other departments and pushing those resources that are already accounted for in the budget into police so and, not, and other law enforcement. So we're not looking at potential cuts to... No, no, it wouldn't be cuts, not a supplemental budget. I think our discussion with our new uh, appropriations chair is that they're looking to see what kind of positive growth that we can do in the forces within our budget cap uh, and then plan for the future. The details as to exactly where the money will be taken and how much is still being discussed. But Lieutenant Governor Tenorio says the plan is manageable. And from checking with those who enforce the laws out in our streets to meeting with the officers who guard the prison population here at the Manila facility. The island's new leaders walked each unit, including areas where shortfalls still exist, like Post 5, where the facility has a definite need for new locks and more officers. DEPCOR Director Samantha Brennan. I think it's great. I think it's an opportunity for them to come and see exactly what our officers have to go through as well as how, what our inmates have to go through and our detainees. And I think it's something that's positive for them. And then hopefully in the long run when we talk about funding and stuff like that, because that's a major issue for us, that, we're, they, that they understand and they can grasp it, they've processed it, they absorbed it, and then now they say, okay, we get it. We're definitely going to have to find funding for you so that we can make this facility, make the DOC compound better. The governor says the administration will work to secure more funding for the prison as well. I learned that that, um, you know, our corrections officers are actually v doing a really good job uh, despite the limited resources that they have. I think they're committed to um, protecting our community. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Wahoo Scenic Delgado. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.